Hi guys, welcome to part 5 of the GSXF restoration. In this video we'll finally be getting the engine painted and back in the bike. Uh, if you want to like see what it looks like underneath the cover, just stick around to the end. Plus we have a little sneak peek at the next project after this one. I'll not tell you what it is, you'll see if you can guess. But uh, If anyone would like to see that, check out my future videos. And please guys remember to like and subscribe. As I see most of you still not subscribed, it's completely free and it really helps out my channel and it'll be very much appreciated. I also try to do a different style of music in this video, hopefully you guys like it, you can let me know in the comments below. So let's get on with it and see how this turns out. So that's two layers of satin black, two pack satin black on the engine now. Well, it turns out reasonably well. The worst thing about it, the only parts you see in the engine are the two side plates on this side and the one on the other side, and a little bit of those fins, but you see a small portion of the gear selector cover, or uh, whatever its proper name is. But yes, yeah, you turn out okay. No rendering is the main thing. See if we're in focus. Yeah, but looking forward to getting it on the bike. When the, when the paint's dry, I'm going to get these screws all changed for a brand new stainless steel ones there. I don't want to touch it now when it's wet. It might come out easier when it's wet, but I'll just leave it till it's dry and get them changed over. Should be fine. Touch up any bits as need be then. But Really looking forward to getting it in because the bike will be well underway then. I can start getting the wiring loom done, get the wheels painted, get the rear mud guard on. Yeah, so let's get to it. Thank you. 
so now I've given the starter and the alternator one coat of etch primer after giving a good a good rub down with the squash bit oil on the uh, bench grinder. Uh, so now, after that's been dried here for 24 hours, I've given it a little rub with the scotch brite pad. I'm going to go over it now with some panel wipe. Uh, give it one coat of standard primer and then two coats of aerosol gloss black. Trying to be careful not to touch the part with my hands. I should be wearing gloves, but I'll try and get away with it this time. Once I've given this coat of primer, I'll let that flash off for 15-20 minutes and come back and give it the first coat of gloss black. Okay, so now for the first coat of black, I'm going to try and not go too heavy in this one, more of like a dust coat, and then come back in another 15-20 minutes and give it the second coat. Right, so I gave this back cover of the alternator a little polish using the polisher attachment on the bench grinder. So hopefully that'll look good uh, with the gloss black. So let's get it bolted back together and see what the results look like.
Yeah, so that's the engine back in the bike. Starting to really come together well. I'm starting to get really excited about getting it out on the road. Hopefully you guys like the red and black color combination. You can let me know what you think. So in the next video, I'm going to do the fork seals. Now change the oil, the seals and the bushings. A little guide to show you how to do that. It's not too difficult. Everyone should be able to do it fine. Hopefully with the help of this little, next little video. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.